What's up world? My name is Sarah and welcome back to another episode of whatever it is that we're doing here. Making the arm holes, sleeves, that's the right word. Super simple. It's going to be a no pattern. Is it raining? Inside out. So let's start by folding the fabric. Let's get this project on the road. What do you think? Okay, now the curtain has been cut. I thrifted this beautiful floral measure 40 inches kimono type robe, a do-it-yourself project. Oh, probably do it inside out. A couple of weeks ago, I thrifted some <laughs> curtains that I wanted to turn into a do-it-yourself project. And if you remember, I can link the video if you don't know what video I am. I'm referring to, I thrifted this beautiful floral, kind of like a shiny sheen to it, wanting to make a robe. And today we are making a robe. And now this is going to be super simple. If you remember, I made a while back, I made a kimono out of scarves that I thrifted. I can also link that video if you're interested. This is going to be similar to the kimono. We're not gonna make the exact same shape, but it's going to be a no pattern, beginners friendly, super easy kimono out of this stunning curtain fabric. Now, of course I have washed it and gone through the fabric. There's no holes, There's it's in pristine condition. And yeah, so, Let's get this project on the road. Now, even though this is a no pattern sewing project, I will put the, the idea that I have in my head on the screen so you can see what I'm following and how I'm going to cut the fabric. It is a very simple, it's going to be a very relaxed kimono type robe. But for this, I'm also gonna do some belt loopholes the belt and there's going to be sleeves but it's still going to be like one piece and i'm going to start out by folding the fabric in half inside out and then drawing and cutting and measuring the way that i have in the sample i've done <laughs> so for this project we have our fabric that's going to be the robe, the belt, the belt loops. I'm also pulling out this that I thrifted a while ago. We used this for the tea towels that we made, the hook for the tea towels. I think I'm gonna make a hook in the neck with this for the robe. Obviously have scissors, a measuring tape, pins, my sewing machine, proper color string for the project, and I need like a pencil of something so I can kind of mark the spaces where I want to cut the fabric. So let's start by folding the fabric, measuring it so we can cut it. So I want to start by cutting the width, which is going to be the arms. The armholes are going to be the widest part of the project. And what I think I want to do is I'm going to pin the side together so it's secure. Measure my 50 inches, like I mentioned, the longest part of our project. And then I can go from there to cut the length of the project and then we'll continue from there. So pin these right sides together all the way down to kind of secure it. Then measure 50 inches which is the width of the project, and then cut that piece. Now, I forgot to mention that the fold is up here. This is where the shoulder neckline is going to be. So I'm just gonna cut 50 inches and then we can continue. Okay, now I have pinned all the way down to secure both of the sides of the fabrics. And I also pinned the end just to secure so it'll be 
nice and taut and put in place. Now what I want to do is measure that 50 inches all the way down and then cut this piece that we're going to use. So for me, the 50 inches is about just below my elbow on each side around my back comfortably. And that's including a little bit more so I can fold and sew the rope. You know what, I just realized because I'm so short, what I'm gonna do is instead of measure 50 inches, I'm just gonna go to this end, or I could do it on this end, and just take the excess off. Let me see how wide this fabric is. Okay, so change of plans, this is how we're working. <laughs> instead of cutting the 50 inches, I have measured the fabric and it was 63 inches. So I'm gonna take 13 inches off of this end of the fabric, mark it, and then cut it. And then we will use the remaining part. So I'm gonna cut 13 inches off. Now that I have my red dots marking the 13 inches that we want to cut away, I'm going to now cut. You know what? I think I'm going to use this part of the curtain as our belt. What do you think? It's already sewn. Yeah, we're gonna cut this off and use it as our belt. Okay, now the curtain has been cut as wide as we want. Now I'm going to measure 40 inches in length and cut the bottom off. 40 inches is here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take four inches off the bottom and, cause that's gonna be easier for me to measure. Okay, now I'm going to trim the bottom and then we're gonna move on to making the arm holes, sleeves, that's the right word. Now the opening of the sleeve is going to be nine inches. So I'm going to measure nine inches from the folded seam down and then I want to go about 10 inches inward and then cut down all the way to the hem. We'll do that on each side. Nine inches. And then we'll do 10. And then 10 inches all the way down. Okay, so this is where the arm is going to pull out and this part here, where we have marked it here and all the way down, this we're cutting out. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Nine inches from the top. Let me see where the 10 hits, right here. Next, I'm going to cut the 10 inches inward and then all the way down on both sides. Then we're gonna be left with a T shape fabric and we're going to cut open the front piece right in the middle all the way up to the neckline to have the opening of our rope. Now while I'm cutting please comment below what I should do with the remaining fabric that's left over. Okay, now it's kind of starting to look like a robe. Obviously, we need a bit of a neckline and an opening to actually put it on. And I was debating on whether or not to cut a little bit of a neckline before I cut the center open. And because we freestyle on this channel, we're going to fold the project in half and cut a ever so slightly kind of quarter of a circle on where the neckline hits so it kind of gives a little 
roundness in the back and then in the front as well and we don't need a lot it's it's only like an inch and a half or two inches wide and one inch in length <laughs> but I'll show you what I mean so I have now folded this in half and I'm going to ever so slightly cut on an angle just a little tip off. Just like that. Now that we have a bit of a neckline here, I'm going to take the top fabric, because we've folded it in half, and only cut the top fabric all the way down so we have an opening to actually wear it. Okay, so for the slit down the middle, I'm going to open the project up, fold it in half so we can find the middle part, and then cut along that, only on that front side. So this is our front side. We are going to cut this part only, and back here is our back side. Now, you don't have to be super accurate because we're going to end up folding and sewing all of the edges, so. But you do want to take your time when you cut. You want it to be somewhat even. All right, let's kind of fit this on to see where we're at. Here we have an arm, another arm, an opening, the neckline. Looks pretty good already, don't you think? Okay, next up, we're going to seal all of the cut it edges with a zigzag, and then we can start pinning it together. All right, let's put this thing together. Now that all the edges are sealed, I'm going to pin and sew this part and this part. So pin them right sides together and then sew them so we have a kimono robe isk. All right, now it really is starting to look like a kimono robe. Next up, I am going to double fold all of the remaining edges. So the neckline all the way down, I'm going to double fold, pin and hem the hemline and the arms as well. So fold, pin, sew all the remaining edges. All right, now technically the robe itself is done, but I want to add two little hooks, straps, belt holes on the sides, and then use one of the curtain trimmings that we cut off as the belt. And for the belt, what I wanna do is, because it already has a seam on one edge, I just want to tidy it up and just for visual effects I'm going to do a second seam on this side just to kind of complement the belt and for the loops I'm going to use some of the leftover fabric that we have. I'm going to me measure a big enough slot for the belt to go through and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about a two inch piece of fabric, fold the ends, kind of tidy it up, and then with that strip, I'm just going to sew it on just around where my waist is, so it hugs my waist snugly. And then our robe is literally done and ready to be used, and
Now that it is, the strap is pinned to the robe, you want to double check that your belt can fit through. Perfect, like so. Now let's pin the other strap. for a 50 cent thrift find old old curtain oh my goodness so easy so simple you could have longer sleeves tighter sleeves shorter length longer length you could add some faux fur on the trimmings or lace you could have a Christmas theme, a summer theme. You could make these for Christmas gifts. So simple, so easy. Now I am a extra small, small. If you wanted to make a larger for a man, then you just make it a little larger. And the pattern is so easy. It was the T model. And you don't even have to do the cut in the neckline if that's something that you're second guessing you just want to cut straight up and then have the opening like that that works too if the little strappies for the belt feel weird you can just tie the belt straight on to the robe and like i said beginner friendly super easy and so cute <laughs> comment below if you want me to do some more do-it-yourself projects with old curtains, thrifted items, because I have a bunch of ideas that I can't wait to recreate and I'd love to film them for you if that's something you enjoy. Remember to hit that like button, it really helps me out and subscribe to the channel so you can find your way back for next week's video. Take care now. Oh, probably do it inside out.